Hey and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can recover deleted files in Amazon S3 using a feature called bucket versioning. But what's important here is you can only recover deleted files or files that may have been overwritten if bucket versioning has been turned on before the file has been deleted. But I'm going to show you in a quick demo how you can turn on this feature and if this feature is turned on how you can recover deleted files. Let's go. Okay, as you can see, I'm here in the AWS Management Console and I've already opened the Amazon S3 dashboard. I've got one bucket, my very important files. And if we have a look at that, you can see I've got some. Oh, yeah, I've got some very important files in here. All right, now let's try something stupid. I'm going to select this, click on delete, type permanently delete to confirm. Click on delete and let's see what happens. All right, it says successfully deleted objects. Now let's close this and see, and it is gone. Oh my God, it is gone. Okay, let's quickly rewind. All right, so instead of deleting this, <laughs> let's, let's go up, click on properties, scroll down just a little bit to bucket versioning. And you can see right now bucket versioning is disabled. I'm gonna click on edit and just click on enable. Scroll down, save the changes. You can see now, if we scroll down, you can see now it has been enabled. And once I go back and click on objects, and I'll try that again. Let's select this file, click on delete, and you can see it's asking us to confirm by typing delete. And if you remember, last time it said permanently delete. Now it just says delete. Let's click on delete objects. Um, close this one. Uh, okay, it's gone. Let's see. Cl let's click on list versions. Oh, there it is. Now you can see it only added a delete marker on top of the actual file and it is still there. So I can now select the delete marker, click on delete. And you see it's asking us to type permanently delete again. So we're going to permanently delete the delete marker. <laughs> delete objects. It has been deleted. I'm going to close. And the delete marker is gone, but the original file is still there. Let's go to this view and you can see the file is here again. So if I list versions and I click on this and delete, right now it's going to ask me to confirm by typing permanently delete. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So if you've got list versions on and you delete something, it will actually delete that version. But if that's turned off and you delete something, it will only add a delete marker. See here, it only asks to delete. It doesn't ask to permanently delete. And this is how this works. In every bucket that has the bucket versioning feature enabled, whenever you delete a file or overwrite a file, you can always go back to a previous version to recover the old file. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.